Well, Meghan McCain's husband complained a lot on Twitter over the weekend because of a doctored image of Meghan McCain that was put up on Twitter, and then it seemed like it took forever for that to come down. Is there not some way that people can, I understand their algorithms, I understand that you, you have to have checks and balances, but really it shouldn't take hours for something that's that egregious to be addressed. Absolutely, and that was unacceptable. And we don't want to use our scale as an excuse here. We, we do need to prioritize, we need to do two things. Number one, we can't place the burden on the victims. And that means we need to be, build technology so that we are not waiting for <coughs> reports. Um, there, we're actively looking for instances. While we do have reports and while we, do, while we are making um, those changes in building that technology, we need to do a better job at prioritizing, um, especially any sort of violent or, or uh, threatening information. In this particular case, uh, this was an image, and we just didn't apply the image filter to recognize what was going on in real time. So uh, we did take way too many hours to act, um, and we, we are using that as a lesson to, in, in order to help improve our systems. And I'm sure you have, but just for the record, have you apologized to the McCain family? I haven't personally, but I will. I think you just did. Um, people can see alternative facts. The fundamental view is that bad speech can often be countered by good speech. And if someone says something's not true and they say it incorrectly, someone else has the opportunity to say, actually, you're wrong, this is true. And that's what we're working on through our systems.